Hi friends, welcome to back, back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to go ahead and um, I was trying to figure out what to have for dinner and I asked my sister, I said, well, what would you make with a quart of chicken? Because my cat has been not eating again and the only thing he decides he likes is these um, delectables or something like that and it's like a dollar <laughs> little thing. So I tried to make him up something and have him eat some of the canned chicken. He didn't want nothing to do with it. So meanwhile, I have a quart of chicken over here that I'm going to make dinner with. So um, she says, well, why don't you make what I made yesterday? Well, it did really look honestly really good. I said, but hey, just to let you know, I'm making it way different than you do because, you know, we both cook differently. Um, so that's just, that's, that's that. But anyways, I'm going to bring it down here. <clears throat> this is the last of that cream of something soup. Now, what I did is in the quart of let me turn this on in the quart of chicken there was juice in there okay instead of having that go to waste what i decided to do was to go ahead and put what chicken chicken juice that there was in here to help you know make this more chickeny flavor and i'm going to go ahead and use my um frother and mix this all together I love this brother thing, guys. I mean, if you guys don't have one or you haven't picked one up yet, and if you do mix up any soups like this or anything like that, you really need one in your life. Now, um, because I am going to be making this uh, chicken, broccoli, rice meal, you know, I do add the onion soup mix to this anyways. Um, it's got a lot of different flavors to it. I really like it. And... Um, yeah. Now it calls for chicken, uh, chicken soup. However, I don't have any chicken soup because I don't care for chicken soup. So of course it's going to be made with much, you know, cream of mushroom, which is going to work out all the same way. But what I'm also going to be doing on here is I am going to add just a little bit of my dehydrated onions too. Um, just because I think it would taste good with having a little bit extra onion flavor. And because onions, mushrooms, and um, broccoli goes together very well in my book that I think. So what I'm going to do is this is going to take a couple minutes to get this going here. Turn this up just a little bit more. And then meanwhile, I'll bring you over to the island and we'll start getting all the rest of this put together. And uh, we'll get this mixed up and we'll show you what we're doing. All right, what I'm going to do is turn, um, spray the pan. And what I'm going to be doing is mixing up everything in here so there's less dishes to do. Now, the other day I had made up um, some of the uh, not stir fry pepper steak, and I had some of the rice left over because I was going to try to make up some... Um, uh, uh, not Spanish rice. <laughs> Dude, I can't even think today. Um, not Spanish rice, but I was going to make up some uh, egg fried rice. And, well, that didn't happen, obviously. So I'll just make up some more at some point. Today, when I get off work, I'm actually off work until... Um, I go back, I believe the 3rd of January, but my heart always knows that there's always miracles that can happen. And, um, I'm still always hoping for the miracle that I, my husband and I are both praying for. And, um, so what I'm going to do, I wouldn't normally use this much chicken, but like I said, this was a quart of chicken that was left because my cat refused to entertain the thought of eating it. Sometimes he's just naughty like that. I mean, he goes around, like right now, if you hear him, he's meowing in the kitchen. He's got three bowls of food over there, and he doesn't want any of them. <laughs> so, um, it's not that we're starving him to death or anything like that. So, that was the rice and the chicken. And then, I like to use the broccoli florets, and I know those are a little bit bigger than I like to use. However, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. 
should have probably waited to stir that in, but it is what it is. It's already too late for that now. And the soup is done. Now, anybody that's been following me at all knows this is probably my absolutely favorite way to do the soup. And um, I do add two cups of water to it, and, you, and it doesn't call for the two cups. However, I am using freeze-dried mushrooms. I am using the dehydrated onion soup mix, and I am using some dehydrated onions. So all that's going to be soaking some of that up. Now, she did measure out hers, and I'm all about not doing more dishes today than I have to. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take the... The soup here, it's all stirred up, it's all ready to go, and I'm just going to put a couple dollops of sour cream in here and call that good, stir this up together inside here. I guess I could probably put that on low. I'm going to put the crock pot on low. This is that crock pot my husband got me a few months back. I've used it a few times now. It is pretty nice. All right. Now that turned out to be a really nice looking color. And you know what? I think I could just, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to spread this over. I'm not going to mix it because it'll be kind of like in a layer. Now let me do that here. Get that spoon. Just kind of like pour this over. And my sister, of course, I call her my, my little mouse because my sister absolutely loves cheese. I mean, I like cheese too, don't get me wrong, but she loves <laughs> cheese. And um, so when I call her my little mouse and stuff, and then she, she just laughs about it because, you know, it's just a perfect joke between the two of us. So she put a little bit of um, stuff in between, the cheese in between. I'll go ahead and bring you up here a little bit now. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on the top. Not a super bunch, but, you know, a couple handfuls. My husband is not the biggest fan of cheese. So I try not to make things that I know that he just does not like. Now on hers, she already had this ground up, but of course... Like I said, I don't want to make up more dishes. So these are cornflakes. So what I'm just going to do is kind of grind this up over the top. I can see where that would give it a nice little crunch. I do really like if you guys, I don't know if you ever made it or not, but um, I have a video on cornflake chicken. Oh my, is it, it's just wonderful. So then what you put is you put the cornflakes on the top and then you take four teaspoons or tablespoons of uh, butter and pour over the um, cereal there, the, the flakes, all right? And this is on low. My husband is going to be home around 5.30. I'll be getting off work about that same time myself tonight because I went to the store. My boss let me, and uh, I wanted to get ahead of the storm. <laughs> so I got Gizmo some more food so he could stop yelling at me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this going. I'll just keep an eye on this. And if it um, starts looking a little bit too much cooked because that one meal I made in here, my husband got home really, really late, and the meal got ruined pretty much because um, I didn't turn this off. And this way, I know better to not to do that again. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring you back once this is done and show you what that's looking like. Welcome back, friends. Anyways, I did end up turning this just on warm because I didn't want this to get overdone like I did the last time I cooked in here. I'll bring it down here. Um, it's got a lot of moisture on there. Everything's still really super, super, super hot. And um, I think it helps having, you know, that crock pot material that the crock pots are made out of, honestly. 
in the um, corn flakes are still a little bit crunchy, but not not too bad. I'm glad I turned this off, honestly. But um, um, my husband's probably really super hungry. Today. He's had a long day. So, anyways, this is dinner. Um, I had a sneak little bite of it earlier. Um, I was kind of really super impressed with how it tasted. Um, I would probably do this again. And depending on how my husband felt, um, anything that's left over, I mean, I might, I might even throw this in the freeze dryer to have as a meal to warm up at some other point. So, I said I don't need quite that much. But anyways... So this is dinner and the two plates here and um, from what I could taste from earlier I would definitely do this again and um, thanks Chris over at Three Girl Homestead for uh, telling me about this and suggesting that I do it. I'm kind of glad that I had the rice and everything to make that with and um, yeah this should, this should be all sorts of fun and uh, my husband should be rolling in the door. Most of it now you guys. Um, this is uh, Thursday, yeah, Thursday night, and, um, you know, if you're out, and it doesn't matter where you are in the United States today, obviously, be very, very careful if you have to go out. I did pick up groceries earlier. Like I said, my boss, um, she let me uh, take my lunch early, and I stayed out an hour later, and I went and got groceries, so I didn't have to worry about driving in the snow after I got out of work because there was things I had to pick up and food for gizmo and and stuff like that. So be very, very careful. Um, you know, drive very, very carefully if you have to go anywhere. Um, if you don't need to go anywhere, please don't. And um, be as safe as you possibly can. So you guys all have a very wonderful day. And thanks for stopping by.